Hello everyone, it's Rita here and today is uh, Stash Go and I'm going to call a number and then I'll probably pause the video and uh, find what I need to use to make whatever comes up, okay? So I'm going to pick a number, I think I'm going to go um, 3 through 7 and uh, because they're getting all mixed up now so Pick a number between three and seven. That would be four. Number four. Tags with book pages. Alrighty. So, I don't know about you guys, but, you know, that's pretty easy. I think my pen's going dry. Oh, well. I'll have to get another one. Okay. Put that on pause. I'm going to put you on pause, and I'm going to pull out some books so I can make some tags, okay? Okay, I'm back. I think I turned my camera off and back on again. Anyway, um, so I pulled out some book pages and what I'm gonna do is just, um, for a short time, I'm going to show you how I would get these ready to become a um, tag. So, I know that I'm gonna to have to cut these down, so I'm just gonna glue somewhere around the center. Press that all down. And then somewhere on this one, probably three pages. If you if your books are big enough, you can fold them in half, which would be a better situation. Okay. cut this because it doesn't rip. Oop. So I thought I would do this first and then I'll um, turn off the video. Okay, I think that, I hope that's enough. Okay, let me just glue another, let's use this book here. This is actually a little sturdier. Everybody's doing well, and as I always ask on almost every video, how everybody is, I'm doing okay. Waiting for my sister to get here. Well, I mean, she'll be here on July 4th. I have to go pick her up at the airport, which is not my cup of tea because Atlanta Airport is a nightmare. It's one of the largest airports in the country I guess okay so there's a couple of them I'm not gonna do well let me do one of these colors I really wanted to fold pages in half but I don't have anything that's quite big enough to fold in half but also you can do this with your um, with your pages you know your glue pages just glue them together as you're going instead of folding them up or whatever just glue them together and then you get this nice firm piece of paper that you can use for tags or journal cards or whatever you want pockets And so if those don't, um, aren't glued completely, I'll just come back and put a little bit of wet glue in there. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. Now see, uh, this one is a good size book, but I don't know where the rest of the book is. So let's just cut these down. Just going to. I don't think it matters what size. And then I'm going to sew around these two. Uh, 
uh, this is so brittle, this paper, I don't know. But it'll look kind of rustic, right? So that makes that one seven, so that's a good size. I get my... How wide is that? Four inches wide. Hmm. Guess I use the bigger because that makes it kind of wide. Okay, so there's a tag. on this one. And I think I'm just going to go six and a half. It seems to be about a tag size. You go one double what you cut so if you I'm, I did six and a half but if you cut it three you can do six and then you get a nice rectangle shape but I didn't really want this shape <laughs> okay too late okay and then this one make this one like three and a half by, by seven. I like to make it a little longer than it is wide. journaling spot, isn't it? Wow, I like that. Okay. And now, oops. Um, just swept the floor now I got stuff all over it again okay so there's three for for the moment and um, what I'm gonna do is um, decide what I want to do with the fronts of these um, I think we want to keep them more or less neutral in decorating because that way we can use them in any journal so flowers, um, die cuts, that kind of thing, birds, those kind of things would look good. Now see this is kind of off balance so maybe I'll try to put something on that side. Okay. So this one is pretty, um, I like the color, but it's not very strong. So we do need to put something on the back for journaling. Hmm. Look at this old yellow tape. brittle. Cut a little bit. Okay. The 
kind of like that tape on there, but I also like this. All right, I'm just going to glue this down. going to run out of room on my phone because I haven't taken videos off to download it. All right, I'm just going to go right here. So they're going to all need some kind of backing on them. Vintage, 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 front and back. Um, I was going to see if I could get this, maybe put this tape back on here somehow. I don't know. I think I'll wait and see if it is useful or not. Okay, so I will pause the video and then I will make some more book page glue some more pages together and then I'll decide what I want to do as far as um, you know these are these are so neat really because look they're already just got so much design in the background instead of plain journal card or plain tags out of cardstock okay so I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. Okay, I'm back. It's the next day. Um, and it's late in the day because I just couldn't get around to working on these. So um, I thought I'd finish up. I did um, make a few more tags and backed them and inked them. And um, they're really nice. They're sturdy, strong. I'm, I'm going to like using those. And then I did sew around um, a few. And so I thought I would decorate those. I'm going to... I'm sorry. Oh, everywhere I go, I put something <laughs> everywhere. Okay. I thought I would just make something for the bee journal because, you know, it's here. We need tags. I do have this bee um, ribbon, so I wonder if I want that up for a, um, a tab, maybe. Um, oh, you know what? I think, would this look good on that one? So I do like that color. Let's see. I just think I like it on that. I do. All right, so I'm just gonna glue that on there. This is um, some flowers that I received from Jody, one of our subscribers, one of my subscribers. And they are so pretty. I don't know where she buys these, but you know, could be any um, any one of those reps websites. You know, Timu or. And then the other day I mentioned where I got some. I forgot what I was looking at, but I remember now it was from Taperology. So I, oh, the glue, the fabric. 
uh, glue stick that I use. That's what it was. Okay. Okay, so there's that. think it just would be fun to add something unusual but I don't know what it would be so let's let me see mm. I thought maybe I could just add it down here but I think I'll look for a word for down here Flowers, sunflower. That's a sunflower. I think that's a sun. I think it is. I'm gonna rip this. Where are you ruling? Edges off. Ink it. I like that. Um, probably should put something behind it. Burgundy goes nice with that. I don't know if it goes with anything else, but I don't really care. I like it. This was also from Jody. I think. I think she sent me this color. I don't think we need a lot. This is the glue I'm talking about, G-L-O-O. -O. And Taperology has the larger one. Full size. So up here, I can either do an eyelet or put some lace or something for the tab. Don't see anything I like color-wise. I always do like the cross stitch um, fabric. Hmm. Yeah. Honestly, I think I like that that little piece to go up there. Let's just do this one. And I'm just going to staple it, I hope. The stapler doesn't really want to work very well. So that's 
that one. And then um, I was looking for something kind of long. This is like scotch tape. Let's see, I want it to hold this. Oh, this is sticking to me. do is I was thinking about this um, when we were doing the gate um, I think I need to do it here okay Then to get hmm. I'm starting to run out of stuff now. <laughs> the right size to get. So it's a lot skinnier than I anticipated. But I'm thinking this would make a cute little pocket here. So I could do that. I didn't ink this. I didn't ink that one. And I must have a new something. Um, um, what's the word? Something that's in my drawer that is not fitting anymore. Because it's everything is getting jammed up.
inked a little bit on this edge. Okay, and then up here, The last time I used this, it wasn't big enough, and somebody said just move it over and punch it again so it's bigger. I'm like, duh, what a great idea. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right, so. All right. I think... Just give me one second. I'm going to stitch across this. Be right back. No, I'm not. Come on, don't do this to me. I don't know. It was too thick, I guess. I feel like I need to make it shorter, though. Okay, so that's cute. And I think I'll put um, some ribbon or something in that. I, um, I'll just do some twine. That always looks nice. spend too much time because I'll, the video will be too long. There, that's cute. I like that. So we got that and that. Don't know if I need another B one. But again, I don't really want to um, decorate all these when I don't know what I'm going to use them in. So, I do like, um, like just one big flower. Maybe I will, not today, but I'll pull out my bigger flowers. Let's see if there's one that's a little bigger. This one I did on music instead of book page I used music page it's very white yeah that's too big I think alrighty so I'm going to let you go and um, you guys I'm sure you've seen this done before but now I have this little collection and I just took me a couple minutes to to make a couple journal cards for the the B um, journal, the Vintage B. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys got something out of it. Maybe something you haven't seen before. Who knows? I know when I was um, new, I would, you know, see all kinds of great stuff. And I know they've been doing it for, you know, quite a few years before I even got into it. So, okay. Um... That's it, and I will see you guys in the next video, which might be a few days. Okay? Bye.